Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching this video. Let's say you're in a situation where you have your lab dock with you. In my case, I'm using a HP X3 Elite lab dock connected to my Note 9 and I have a deck station activated. And you have a presentation or, or I don't know, your work is on there, like a document presentation, photo gallery, something there that you want to display to other people. Let's say you're in a conference room and your colleagues has their devices with them and you want to send your screen image to other devices and they, you all can watch the same video, same, same, same screen in simple terms, just same screen. Um, if you're going to use a screencast option while you index and you're going to try to cast that deck screen onto uh, uh, a cast enabled devices, like for example, you have a Chromecast connected to one of the monitors in a conference room and it's just what is going to happen, your phone screen will be casted on the TV instead of the DeX monitor. This is a bit of downside of if you want to cast the screen to the Chromecast, it doesn't work at the moment. But there is an app which will allow you to, to do this. Uh, I downloaded a bunch of apps to be honest and I, I tried I think 15 or 16 of them and only one app does what, what I'm about to show you. And the app is called Screen Stream Mirroring. There is a free version and there is a paid version. Free version obviously is free with ads and gives you a limited time for you to cast the screen. The paid version is obviously no ads and limited time of screen streaming. And if this app is something would be useful for you, this app costs four ninety nine here in Great Britain, for four pounds ninety nine pence. So if you if you want, you can go and and buy it and use it for your for any purpose that this app is useful for you. So what I'll do, I'm going to start this app on my decks. App start is going to give me any ad uh, and etc. I think I might be able to lower screen brightness just a bit for you to clearly see what what's roughly is going on on the screen. All the links to this app and everything I'll leave in the description below for you to go and check that out. So uh, app is running and a message popped up. It says screen stream mirroring will start capturing everything that's displayed on your screen and it says cancel or start start now so I'm gonna say start now and when it started one of the lines by here will give you the local IP address this will work within your local IP local network only there is obviously the way to to set this up to be a worldwide across the internet but it involves port forwarding and etc etc which is it's a mess so uh, I'm not gonna show you this so local IP address, so on this machine, I'm going to punch this local IP address, which is 192.168.1.190, colon 5000, slash screen, enter. So right now this displaying this, I'm going to walk around the camera and on the numbers computer, I'm going to punch the same address, 190, colon screen. So I'm going to click play on this and play on that. Play, play. Now all of them, sh okay. I didn't expect to be honest, the sound goes well. So apparently the sound is being streamed as well. That is, okay, that's a new feature just learned. Anyway, go full screen on this, full screen on that. And now all this, two devices on the left and right displaying exactly what I can see in front of me on my decks. So if I go grab a mouse and I'm just gonna move this. As you can see, it's a, it is a bit delay, but when you're presenting a slideshow or website of that, it doesn't require super action, super attention. It's not like a gaming or anything like that. It's just a simple presentation then this kind of setup is very useful. Let's say you want to display something in your file manager browser. So you explain it to the people in your office what they need to do in certain folders and etc. which is very useful. So you're sharing your screen to other devices at the same time. So let's minimize close that and that's it. So pretty much that's it. What, what this app does, it just basically takes the DeX screen and streams across a local network with a specific IP address and a, a new feature that I just learned it supports, it supports audio. Audio. audio 
obviously right now it goes in the loop because I don't know which one device what is connects which one streaming anyway this is a and this is on two monitors you can actually connect multiple you can connect as many as you want so you can sit in a conference room with another 50 people and they all can go to the same IP local IP address and they all gonna see the same screen what you see so if you have a you need to debrief your team about some new project or something you basically have your laptop set it up you launch this app start it and then everybody can connect to this local IP address and all of you will see the same screen I hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section below what you think about this setup is it useful for you uh, well, is it basically just a waste of time maybe you have a better solu solution maybe you have a better app which I not found yet uh, let me know in the comment section below don't forget we have a subreddit group by the name of Samsung Dex there's loads of people there, active people, we're sharing information, asking questions, giving answers, helping everyone else who loves Dex. I'll leave a link to that subreddit group in the description below. And I have a Patreon account if you would like to support me, uh, please, please do so. Um, I'll leave a Patreon account link in the description section below as well. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.